guys, this is Dubs Nishmo. Today let's take a look at how to work with responsive table in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So to get started, let me come to my toolbox and locate the table 2. So I'll click on my table and I'm going to draw in here. It is going to give me a prompt and asking me to select the number of rows and columns I want to use in my table. So I'm going to go ahead and specify, that is I'm going to specify 3 columns. And I'm going to go ahead and specify six, um, sorry, three rows and six columns. I'll go ahead and click on OK. And this is my table. Now I'm going to go ahead and expand the size of my table a little bit. And go ahead and populate, uh, populate my table with information. So I'll double click on this. This is going to be name. This is going to be age. This is going to be color. This is going to be location. This is going to be, um, let me make this uh, teacher. And this is going to be friend. So I'm going to populate the name. This is Dobson. This is um, one. This is blue. This is Kra. This is Ishmael. This is um, Dobson. Now, let me come here and populate this as well. So this is also going to be Ishmael. This is two. This is red. This is Kra. This is Dobson. This is Dobson Ishmael. So I have populated my table with information over here. Now let's go ahead and preview this table in a browser. So I'm going to go ahead and hit on the F5 key of my keyboard. So as you can see, we have our table uh, over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and create breakpoints in my project. So I'm going to come to my breakpoint manager and I'm going to create for 320 pixels. I'm going to create for 480 pixels and I'm going to create for 768 pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK, click on OK. Now when I switch to my 768 pixels, I'm going to reposition my table here. And I'm going to go ahead to switch to my 480 pixels breakpoint. Now this is where we are going to run into issues. When I resize my table here, it is going to affect the 320 pixels, same as 768 pixels, and it is going to affect the default size. So what do we do then? All we can do is to right click on our table and go to table properties and when you go to table properties we have some options here now the first one says use percentages to make the table responsive so we are going to check this the next one says enable responsive font that is different font sizes and breakpoint i'm going to check this as well so we are going to go ahead and click on ok now let's resize our table back to its normal or default size let me just reduce the height of this a little bit and I'm going to switch to my breakpoint again. So I'm going to go to 768 pixels. I'll resize this. I'll go ahead to my 480 pixels. And um, let me just resize, reposition and resize this a little bit. I'll go ahead to my 320 pixels. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this. I'm going to go ahead. Let me just switch back to my default and hit on the F5 key. So uh, my table has been that's being previewed in the browser. So this is our default state. Let me switch to my responsive mode in my browser. So as you can see, this is our 320 pixels breakpoint. I'll switch to my 480 pixels breakpoint. I'll go ahead to the 768 pixels breakpoint. And as you can see, our table is responsive now. Also, what you can do here is you can also change the size of um, a cell over here so if you want to change the height of a cell or a width of a cell that is a row or that is a column or a row all you can do is to just click on the cell you want to affect that is make changes to the row or the column and you come to this particular section in the ribbon you click on row height and all you can do is to just change the figure you have in here so I, assuming i want to make this 25 pixels i'm going to go into enter my 25 pixels here and you realize the size has reduced a little bit i can do the same thing for this one i'll come to my row height and i'm going to change this to 25 pixels i can do the same for here as well so i'll click here and i'm going to change this to 25 pixels so as you can see this is how to make our table and wizard web builder responsive thank you very much for watching bye for now